atheists, apparently an argumentative bunch. I try not to argue when it comes to discussions with theists and instead ask questions to try and understand their viewpoint. But this week, I found a video from a small YouTube creator who apparently had the answer when it came to debunking atheist arguments. I can't wait to be put in my place. Hello, I'm The Skeptic. I watch videos on YouTube that make extraordinary claims, whether that's flat earth or strange conspiracies, but mostly the claim that a god is real, and then explain why I can't accept their position. Before we get into today's video, please do subscribe, hit that bell notification to be alerted for my next video, and drop a like. That would be fantastic. In this God Squad video, Life and Us, a small YouTuber, has a way of debunking atheist arguments. I'm all for a good and healthy discussion, so I'm absolutely ready to learn where I'm going wrong with my quest for the truth. So let's see what this fellow, whose name I can't find, has to say about where we're going wrong. Hello. Well, this is a very uh, small video. I wanted to address one of the points that is uh, made by uh, atheists, uh, a plot hole, if you will, in the Bible. Oh, this isn't going to go well. I and lots of atheists don't care about what the Bible has to say, so I guess thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. No, this is not a major point. If it's not a major point, why bring it up? Uh, but it is a point nonetheless that uh, I saw brought up in uh, some discussions um, which is the when uh, Jesus uh, prays to his father um, and his disciples uh, sleep I think that was sleep but I must say I do like his accent it's kind of cool no now how could uh, the Bible uh, write it, who, who would be there to witness it, I mean. Hang on, please tell me he isn't going down the route of no one was with Jesus when this part was written, so God must have written it. If Jesus is alone, there is no witness to to write it down. That's, that's the argument. Oh no, I could be wrong, but at the moment it seems like he is going down that route. Well, no one was with Frodo for a brief time in The Lord of the Rings, yet he was written about. I wonder how that happened. Now, my counter-argument will be, well, firstly, uh, and obviously, his disciples are aware of the praying because he wakes them up every time he returns. How do you know that? After each prayer, he returns and he asks them, could you have not just stayed awake for even one hour with me? So uh, they know that uh, he went and uh, probably it's uh, uh, logical to assume that your preacher and your rabbi and the, uh, uh, your uh, uh, priest, which is constantly pretty much praying, uh, while awake and uh, while they are asleep with nothing else to do, would pray. That's uh, pretty much uh, a given. If he didn't outright uh, said it himself or uh, answer the question, you know, the, the Bible doesn't detail every minute thing. Doesn't detail every minute thing, so you fill the gaps with Jesus probably woke the disciples. So th this is a very easily debunked uh, plot hole. He could have uh, discussed it uh, with uh, any of the apostles in uh, uh, all of their time together and uh, so uh, there so it could have been uh, passed down and uh, written in the Bible. So, saying that this one part of the Bible that has a quote-unquote plot hole that I've never heard any atheist bring up before, mostly because most of the atheists I know don't really care what the Bible has to say, as it's not been demonstrated to be the Word of God, is debunking atheists. Sorry, sir, I really don't see how. In our Holy Scripture, um, I would re really wish... Uh, 
I don't want to to be like uh, fighting the uh, there is a very strong movement of of uh, logical thinking and reasoning and I'm not opposing that that's not what I'm doing and and a lot of, a lot of them choose to attack uh, religion so it's a shame that theists take questioning how conclusions are made as attacks, but I can see why. Having to question the reasons they have their beliefs is difficult and scary, especially as it's something that most people have held on to for a long time. That's why I feel that it's worth uh, a voice that will protect it. And uh, if I can humbly say... Uh, a sober and logical voice. Well, you picked out one tiny part of the Bible that is pretty irrelevant to demonstrating the existence of a God. And like I said earlier, I've never heard an atheist bring up this passage. You'd have been better off trying to defend the arguments surrounding Exodus and slavery or Deuteronomy and rape victims, or even the discrepancies in Genesis chapter 1, which you can see here on one of my previous videos. Shameless self-promotion, and I'm not even slightly sorry. So, yeah, that's that's it. For, uh, for this video and uh, I would be glad if you can uh, bring to my attention other uh, issues, uh, other questions about uh, Christianity or anything else for that matter and uh, I hope I can uh, provide my insight about those questions. I'd definitely like to see him tackle at least Exodus and explain about slavery. What about you? Do you think this debunked atheistic arguments? If you've seen any videos of theistic claims, feel free to message me on here or on Instagram. And speaking of socials, I have a TikTok with similar themed videos, albeit slightly shorter, but more frequent. Well, short but sweet, sometimes the only way. For now though, we can skip tick this off the list as a dodge to having atheist arguments debunked. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. From me, the skeptic, stay safe, keep thinking logically and ask questions. Skepticism is the first step towards truth. See you next Saturday.